Hello and welcome back to a Space Engineer's Addendum, something that I want to add to my last episode that came up today in yeah, after reading the comments. By the way, my name is Rabenschild and in the last episode I built this mining rig here. This, this is a rolling mining rig, it has wheels and all that stuff and I was a bit of yeah, discussing how to power this thing and um, I want to have it run on batteries and maybe with some solar panels we will have to see. And then S3, S3, I don't know how to pronounce it because there's one of these um, ac accents over one of the E's and sorry I, I can't just can't do it, um, came in and said yeah put um, maybe some wind turbines on it and it's good that I try to whenever I reply to something I try to not be too yeah, that doesn't work I always try to say to my knowledge this doesn't work and I told him or her I don't know <laughs> if that wind turbines don't work on rovers or on movable grids. I wasn't even sure if I could place one on this rover. So, and I said they only work on static grids. That was what I had in my head. Then Peter Kreuz came in and that's also a name I can't pronounce because it, I, I don't know where the guy is from, so <laughs> I will do it this way and apologize in advance. And said, my wind turbines on one of my rovers work as soon as I connect it to a static grid. And I thought, hmm, maybe then there is more things that I can test. And I started to test the wind turbine just out of curiosity. And so I found out I can place one. On a moving grid so again this is a rover completely movable and all that stuff and I said yeah okay if, if I can connect it up to a station then um, maybe that's an explanation it is connected up to a static grid what I wanted to know is what happens with landing gears I have some landing gears on this uh, on this rover and I, I always it always hurts to call it rover because um, I want to mine with it and I thought hey maybe uh, what about landing gears and see the landing gears down there they are direct directly connected to the whole thing and I can lower the wheels down I want to wait a bit go up and you can see now I can lock it down so what happens now when I lock it down? I found that I was so curious about that. <laughs> the fun part is this thing starts to work. And just to show you that this is not only uh, not only a thing that is visual, this thing puts out energy. So this is great. <laughs> we we can have wind turbines on on movable grids. We just have to lock them down then they start to work. So that's exactly what I want to have. I want to have uh some wind turbines on here to refuel the batteries, put out more energy than the drills and the the antenna on here used up that's how this needs to work that's really great i really like that yeah thanks to astri and to uh to peter for just suggesting that and kind of sparking my interest in how that can work and again this is just an addendum this will just be a 0.5 to the last episode because i think it might be interesting to people to know that people might already know that and i will get a lot of flack because some other youtuber already found that i hope that's 
not the case that you learned something otherwise maybe i help some people with their ideas so big rovers and uh, wind turbines is possible just lock that thing down with some landing gears and then that works that's so nice i hope that's not a bug and i, ho I just hope it this stays in the game because that's how i want that to work good people uh yeah i just wanted to add that to the last episode hope you liked the video if you did please leave a like on it um show it around to people that might uh not be in the know of that that would be really really nice people thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode see ya guys